Hey, what's up guys, BoHD here. And the best iPad Pro keyboard case is not from Apple. It's from Logitech. And it's called the Logitech Combo Touch Keyboard Case. And unlike videos from some of my uh, tech peers, this video is not sponsored by Logitech. Sadly, I bought this keyboard case for $200. It's a lot of money, but it's not entirely, uh, uh, I don't regret this purchase, let's just say that. Um, for a couple of reasons. But one is I can talk about this product however I feel like without fear of repercussions. So that's nice. But also this keyboard case is amazing. It's the best on the market. I don't regret my purchase. So in all seriousness, I've been researching a good keyboard case ever since I picked up my 11 inch iPad Pro 2021. I believe it's the third generation. Um, because in my opinion, the iPad is useless without a keyboard attached to it. I just can't get any sort of work done. It kills my productivity having to type with the on-screen keyboard. I need a keyboard with this product. And what I've found is that there's really only two or three good options if you want a keyboard case. Uh, you can go with the Smart Keyboard Folio from Apple that gives you a keyboard but no trackpad. You can go with the Magic Keyboard, which gives you a keyboard and a trackpad along with a, a really stylish design that makes it look like your iPad is suspended in air. So that keyboard definitely gets some style points. Or, hear me out, you have the Logitech Combo Touch keyboard case, which gives you a keyboard, it gives you a trackpad, and actually functions as a case to protect your iPad. And there's just a bunch of other reasons why I think this thing is the, the best on the market. Okay, so this case actually protects the entire iPad Pro, the back, the sides, and the front, uh, whereas the other cases fail to protect the sides and the back of the iPad. With the Logitech option, you can detach the keyboard from the case that fits around the iPad. So if you're doing some like graphic design work with Procreate, for example, you can still use the kickstand on the back and protect all angles of the device. It just makes it much more versatile. And before I move on to the kickstand portion of this review, I gotta say I really enjoy the fabric material that Logitech used with this case. It doesn't pick up fingerprints or smudges and it just feels great. It kind of reminds me of the fabric phone cases Google makes for its Pixel phones or at least the older ones. I don't know, I just remember using that case a lot and really enjoying it. Now the kickstand is surprisingly rigid. It allows you to alter the viewing angle very precisely. You actually get 50 degrees of adjustable viewing angles according to Logitech. It's a lot like, a, I would say, a kickstand on a Microsoft Surface. It might not have quite as rigid of, of a hinge, but honestly, I don't know how Logitech made this hinge so sturdy in such a, a thin case, but they did. I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna hold up over time, but it does seem pretty solid. You get cutouts for all the ports with protruding rubber markers for the volume buttons and power sleep on off button. And the cutouts fit the buttons perfectly. And what's really cool is you don't have to charge this case at all since it uses the smart connector to siphon off power from the iPad itself. And I think that is just brilliant. It's the little things that make for a good product and that's definitely one of them. Really the only area vulnerable to damage aside from like the glass front is the top portion of the iPad. But that's because Logitech made a cutout to support the second gen Apple Pencil, which magnetically attaches and charges on the side of the newer iPad Pros. And uh, by the way, this is the first Apple Pencil I've ever purchased and I've ever used personally. And this is just such a better way to charge and use the iPad Pencil than the first generation. I, I, I actually really love having it on the side of my iPad ready to go. The magnetic connection is pretty strong and I don't know, it just makes me wanna really get into Procreate do some graphic design work, which I've never done before, at least with an Apple Pencil on an iPad. With that said, I will say when the case is all closed with the Apple Pencil attached, it's pretty hard to open the case since the pencil covers up the groove that lets you like fold open the case with your finger. And the case itself is magnetic, so it's gonna stay fast and close fairly well. Um, but you know, this isn't too big of an issue. I can just remove the pencil temporarily to open up the, the keyboard case, but uh, just something I wanna mention. But the experience gets even better with the keyboard. So this keyboard, even with the 11 inch version, it allows me to type with ease and with very little typing errors and with like super agility. Uh, maybe it's because I'm coming from a 2017 MacBook Pro that has those awful butterfly keys, but these keys have a surprisingly good amount of travel. You get the ridges on the F and J buttons to help you align your, your hands. You get a full row of iPad OS shortcut keys for controlling the volume, music playback, and screen brightness among other things. Oh, and did I mention the keys are backlit with 16 levels of brightness? That's pretty awesome to have. And I will say even the trackpad performs well. I mean, it's no MacBook trackpad, but it gets the job done. You can click anywhere. It supports three finger gestures, um, but unfortunately it doesn't support touch to tap 
at the moment. Maybe an update will support that. So you will need to press on the trackpad until it clicks, but um, the trackpad is, is pretty solid. It's pretty big, not too bad. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't used the Apple Smart Keyboard personally, so it's very possible those keys and trackpad are better. But um, for making this video, I have watched a ton of reviews and done research to like compare the features. And what I can say about this Logitech keyboard is that I haven't really had too many problems with it at all. And I like the fact that the keys are backlit, which the Apple keys are not. The other thing you should know is that the Magic Keyboard is $279, whereas the Logitech Combo Keyboard case is about 199 bucks. So between the two, the Logitech option is just a no-brainer in my opinion. And if I'm being completely honest, I still cringe thinking about spending $200 for a keyboard and a case for an $800 tablet that can't run pro apps, even though it supports a processor that's faster than my 5K iMac that I use to edit this video. iPad OS 15 makes this thing a lot better, uh, but this tablet and the accessories probably probably not gonna make my list of best investments of 2021. But hey, it's okay to spend money recklessly every once in a while, I think. I'm not sure where I was really going with that, but the point is that this is the best keyboard case for the iPad Pro. They also make a 12.9 inch version. I'll place a link down below in the description for, for both versions if you're interested in buying one for yourself. You can get it Prime delivered via Amazon, so definitely go with that and use my affiliate link. I will say probably the biggest con with this keyboard case is that it weighs a lot. Like when you have everything attached on here, maybe not so much the, the pencil, it's pretty light, but this thing is hefty. It probably weighs more than my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Like this thing is solid. I actually dropped it on my foot uh, while filming this video and it, oh man, it hurt real, real bad. So don't do that. I think in a way the, the weight makes this thing feel a little bit more premium, but at the same time, like if you're carrying this around with you, like you're probably gonna get a little bit fatigued. Like it's surprisingly hefty in such a, a thin portable package. Like it's gonna probably catch you by surprise. With that said guys, I'm BoHD from Slash.TV. Hope you enjoyed my review of this keyboard case. If you have any more questions or concerns, let me know what they are down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys right back here in the next one. See ya.